Understanding how to properly backwash your filtering system. First thing is, you must know what your normal operating pressure is. Your normal operating pressure is the PSI reading right after you backwash your filter in the beginning of the season. It generally runs between 5 and 15 pounds depending upon how far your filter is from the pool. Backwashing should be done after your filter reaches 10 pounds above normal operating pressure. So if your normal running pressure is 10 pounds, when it reaches 20 pounds, it's time to backwash. First, clean out your baskets in your skimmer and your pump. Turn off your filter and adjust your multi-port or push-pull valve to the backwash position. Never adjust your multi-port or push-pull valve while the filter is running. Then, turn your filter back on and run it until the water clears up in the sight glass. Once the sight glass is clear, turn your filter off and turn the multi-port or push-pull valve back to the filtering position. Turn your filter back on and count to three and then turn it back off. Adjust your valve back to the backwashing position and then run your filter until the water clears in the sight glass once again. Repeat this step three times as this will thoroughly clean out the sand or diatomaceous earth in your filter. If you have a multi-port valve, before you adjust back to the filter position for the last time, adjust your valve to the waste position and run the filter until the water clears in your side glass. This will clear out any remaining dirt left in your plumbing or your valve. Turn your filter off, adjust your valve back to the filtering position, and then turn your filter back on. If you have a DE filter, you will need to recharge it with diatomaceous earth. It is advised to put the proper amount of diatomaceous earth in a bucket first, then turn your filter on, go to the closest skimmer to the filter, and pour it into that skimmer. Only pour as much as the skimmer can take each time until your bucket is empty. After you have poured the recommended amount of diatomaceous earth in the skimmer, wait for two minutes, and then turn off the filter, wait 30 seconds, and then turn the filter back on for normal filtering. Here is a tip for recharging your filter. When you install your cleaning grids back into the filter for a new season of filtering, you will want to use one less pound of diatomaceous earth after your first backwash. So if you start out the season with five pounds, recommended by the manufacturer, the next time you recharge the filter, you will add four pounds. No matter how good you backwash your filter, you will always leave at least one pound of diatomaceous earth attached to the grids. By following this procedure, you will prevent the grids from becoming too clogged before the end of the season, which will result in you having to remove the grids and thoroughly clean them during the season. Recommendations for the proper amount of diatomaceous earth to recharge your filter are 24 square foot uses 4 pounds to start and then 3 pounds to recharge. A 36 square foot filter uses 5 pounds to start and then four pounds thereafter. A 48 square foot uses six pounds to start and then five pounds thereafter. A 60 square foot uses eight pounds to start and then seven pounds. And then a 72 square foot uses nine pounds to start and then eight pounds thereafter. For diatomaceous earth filters, after about two or three years, you may notice your normal running pressure increase each time you backwash. If your normal running pressure was 5 pounds, and in a few years it has increased to 10 pounds, this means calcium has built up on your grids and they will need to be removed from your filter and cleaned out in muriatic acid. This should be done professionally. Most local pool stores will offer this service for you. For cartridge filters, the filter cleaning is a bit different. For your standard filter that has a single cartridge in it, you will need to clean your cartridge when the filter reaches 10 pounds above normal running pressure. This may be, need to be done every one to two weeks for pools and spas. If you have a gang cartridge filter, meaning there's more than one cartridge, once it reaches that magical 10 pounds above normal running pressure, you will have to clean it also. The difference between a single cartridge and gang cartridges is that the filter with multiple cartridges generally don't need to be cleaned 
more than once or twice in an entire pool season. To clean a cartridge filter, you remove it from the housing and spray it with a garden hose or one of the cartridge spray cleaners that we sell. Do not use a power washer as it will cause f the filaments to fray, thus damaging the cartridge. At that point, it will need to be replaced. After spraying down the cartridge, it wouldn't hurt to soak the cartridge in sodium biphosphate for about five hours and then rinse it off. This will remove any oils that have accumulated to the cartridge. Then you can install it back into your filter housing. Some things to look for during your pool season concerning your filter are, for sand filters, if you notice a small amount of sand after you vacuum the pool, chances are the laterals in your pool filter have dried out and cracked. In order to repair, you will need to remove the sand from the filter and unscrew the laterals from the bottom of the tank. Let us know what kind of filter you have or send us a picture so we can assist you. We can send you a whole new set of laterals then. They are relatively inexpensive and easy to replace. Just screw them back into the lateral hub and refill with fresh filter sand. For diatomaceous earth filters, if you notice a white powder appearing on your pool floor after each vacuuming, chances are one or all of your grids have cracked and have holes in them. Remove them from your filter and let us know what kind of filter you have. We can then send you the grids that you need to replace. This is also relatively easy repair. Just replace the damaged grids and reinstall them back into your filter and then recharge. For cartridge filters, if you notice dirt reappearing on the pool floor shortly after you vacuum, chances are one or all of your cartridges will need to be replaced. Cartridges can easily re be removed from your filter. Just give us a number off your old cartridge and we can send you out a replacement. Just reinstall back into your filter housing and you'll be good to go. Make sure to check out all of our other videos in our video library series. Thanks.